Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie here, also known as Mrs. England's Emporium. Sorry if you've been here a million times before and you already know that. I just like to introduce myself as much as I can because sometimes I forget. Um, oh, I've had a right going on. For some reason, my Etsy account won't let me list on it and it needs an update to do with the delivery it's saying update required on all my old listings and all my new listings won't go on and I can't work out how to do it. So if anyone else is experiencing this, please let me know. I don't know whether Etsy gets glitches or whether it is something that I need to do. I tried to do it on my iPad actually on the um, Safari, on the actual app, not the app, sorry, on Safari, on the app on Safari on my iPad. Um, and went onto my account that way because you can do a lot more online than you can on the app but still couldn't work out how to do it and I did what I thought and it still didn't make a difference it says something about um, zones or something postage zones and it's not covered and I'm like okay that's odd anyway I'm not going to go on about it too much um, I'm going to try and sort it out at some point and I'll let you know if I do Anyway, I've got some interesting things to show you in this video, so stay tuned. Um, if you enjoy it, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? I hope I don't all scare you all doing that. And hit the bell for notifications of when I upload videos. Anyway, let's get into it. Right, so I have ordered a light box for me to take photographs in, do listing in. Um... So big thank you to Naomi who is in my Facebook group, Mrs. England's Emporium, for suggesting this. I am going to get it set up now and see what it's like. I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, it came yesterday, but I just haven't had a chance to do anything. I'm having one of those times at the minute where I've got so much stuff backed up to do and no time to get it sorted. So I'm going to unbox this and I'm going to show you what this is like. Um, I'm going to have to find a plug. I've got some iPhone plugs because I know it's USB port and um, to plug into the mains. I may need an extension lead as well. But yeah, let's see what this is like. Right, so here it is. It's a portable ring LED light box. Um, I got the 30 centimetre one just because it's bigger, um, obviously. It was the bigger one out of the two options and yeah hopefully it'll be really good that's what it's going to look like when it's set up i'm hoping i can fit most things in it that i buy i mean there's going to be some things that won't but i can just list them as i did before and use this for the smaller stuff so let's see what it looks like when it's up <laughs> right here we are so um it has which I've covered in these shoes here, look, there we go. Lots of different coloured backgrounds, instructions. Um, it's a portable U well, USB um, light box. So it's got over there, if you can see there, the controls to make it lighter or darker. So the lights are up here. Um, it's really cool, £25 I paid for this. Um, unfortunately though, you can't get a lot in it. And it is quite annoying because the hook things keep coming apart. But if you're willing to put up with that, the pictures do look better. If you look at the way this is now, if I go like that, photographs are going to look much better of shoes and things because they, ju they just look more professional. They really do. Um, not sure it's worth £25, but who am I to judge? <laughs> I'm going to try and fit that ornament in, but I don't think it's going to go in. I think it's going to be far too big and I'm not going to be able to get good pictures with it, like pushing its head on the top where the lights are. But as you can see, the shoes look great in there. So it's definitely a good investment to think about getting. Um, there's another one as well you can get that's like a chair, but it doesn't have lights on it. But it has all the different backgrounds. Um, I mean, to be fair, I don't think you really need the lights. But, I mean, I might be wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think I think the shoes look really good, though, in there. I really do. <laughs> She's definitely too big. Look. <laughs> I don't think I could get a good photo. 
I mean, I can try, but yeah, I don't think it's going to look good. Her hat is up the top, so you can't even see it, can you? Never mind. Gonna have to think of another way for these guys. <laughs> so here's an example of the black background and me putting this on it. I'm retaking the pictures of these because the, the pictures I've got of them, they're all right, don't get me wrong, but I think if someone's if something like this is going to grab someone's attention, my pictures that I did first aren't going to be that. So I'm redoing them and obviously because this is a clear bottom, I've done this one on a black background. I think it looks really good. Um, the other ones I've done on the white. But yeah, um, it's really good there. It's really cool. And you can actually change the colour of the lights as well. Um, they don't have to be that colour. You can change them to like a warm colour. Um, so yeah, I think it's a pretty good buy, to be honest. Um, I think I will, if I remember, which I'm hoping I will, I will put the link to this um on my description so if any of you want to get it you know where to get it from i will say this is not a paid advert or anything like that i'm just recommending a product because it's pretty good <laughs> right this is probably going to go to a separate video than what i've just done i've just done a mystery box video but i'll probably put this onto a separate one just so it doesn't go on too long but i have here a bag of clothes what lisa was given and she's passed them on to me now she did say that some of them if not all of them are a bit smelly of smoke so what i'm going to do with this i'm going to show you all what i've got because it's always cool to go through something especially when we're doing it together and we don't know what is in there um and i can see if i can actually get the smell out of the clothes and be able to sell it so we'll go through it and then i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do with it to try and get the smell out at the moment i won't be able to do anything because it's gonna rain but i will tell you in a minute so this one is a what is it a yachu i don't know it's a nice large coat anyway um it says nba 1949 on there i don't know what this is there is always sunshine in my heart anyone know this brand anyone seen anything like this before Oh, it's Disney. Disney fonts, it says on the back. Does that mean it's Disney? I don't know. Um, yeah, it does smell of smoke really bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get the smells out. And if I can get the smells out, I'll be selling it. But yeah, it's size large. Let's have a look at this. What is this one? This looks like a blouse. Pretty little thing. Oh, it's new with tags. Um, size 10. Pretty little thing like a wrap around top it's lovely very nice again it's yeah this do smell of smoke so i am gonna have to try and get the smell out top shop size 10 this is um like a button up front black dress i've had something very similar to this before really nice and it'll be a shame if i can't do anything with these because like i say they're new with tags and um, we'll see what we can do. So this is a new look, size 10 dress as well. No, it isn't a dress, sorry. <laughs> I sound like Rob. Rob always says, he'll pick up a top and go, what about this dress? And I'm like, that's not a dress. <laughs> Trousers, size 10. They look like a cropped, um, like wide leg trouser, brand new with tags. And then we've got these, what are this? It's a skirt, Lee Cooper original, size 10, denim skirt. I mean, that, yeah, I might go for 10 to 15, if I can get the smell out. So what I'm gonna do with these, and then I'm gonna give you an update on them. When the weather is nicer, as you can see outside, it's looking very dull at the moment. It's looking like it's gonna rain. I'm gonna wait for a nice day and I'm gonna peg all these outside best thing you can do excuse me best thing you can do for clothes that have got a smell to them is put them out in the fresh air hang them on your washing line um washing them in the washing machine no matter what you use does not always work best thing to do first is air them get them outside air them for as long as you can so when the weather picks up again hopefully tomorrow i will put all these outside and then when they've been outside long enough and I think that they've aired, 
I will wash them and then I will obviously peg them out again to dry. So watch this space. Um, obviously I can't do that with the new tag stuff. I forgot about that. <laughs> So the new tag stuff will just be getting pegged up outside. I may spray it with some Febreze, which is, if you don't know what that is, I'll show you what it is. It is, and again, I'm not getting paid for this, not getting paid for this promotion, just showing you what I use. Um, it is a fabric refresher and it smells amazing. You can get it in loads of different ones. Um, this one is two times longer lasting. It's a really nice smell. I like to take my sofa apart, hoover it all, clean it all, and then spray it with this when I sort my sofa out, which isn't very often. I did it the other weekend though when Rob went out with his dad, I will say. But this stuff is brilliant. Doesn't always get rid of all the nasty smells, but it helps. So I will be spraying things with that if they need to be sprayed. Let me know any tips you have in the comments for getting smells out of things. As resellers, unfortunately, we come across this from time to time. Rob bought this rucksack. So this is a big like camera bag rucksack. It smells of Febreze now, it's amazing. This has been outside, it stank of cigarette smoke. We got it from a charity shop and we didn't realise it smelled when we bought it. It absolutely stank. So this has been outside on one of our um, garden chairs, airing for a week. It's been rained on, it's been hosed down, it's been febrezed twice, and finally, it's in a state where we can sell it. It does have a very, very faint tinge. If you stick your nose inside it, right inside, I mean, not here, right inside you can smell a very very faint tinge of smoke but apart from that nothing and when rob got this i was sat in the garden and he put it on the chair that was two chairs away from me and i could smell it so that is an amazing amazing difference so he's going to be able to sell that now and it's not going to be stinking <laughs> so i'm hoping i can do the same with these i'm gonna work my magic and I will let you know as soon as I can an update on whether I've sorted these out or not. Like I said, any sort of hints and tips, pop them in the comments for people to see. Not only are you helping me, then you're helping others too. And if you want to join my Facebook group where I talk about all this sort of stuff, I sound really scripted now. I don't mean to, I'm sorry. Um, but if you do want to join my Facebook group, it's called Mrs England's Emporium. I do have a page as well, but the Facebook group is what I'm talking about. Come over, say hello. Um, I will have to approve you, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, it's a great place where we share all these tips and things like that. I try and keep the same content away. So when I do things on here, they won't necessarily be in there, but we can share tips about cleaning things in there. Um, I'm gonna clean some shoes soon as well not looking forward to that i have to say i keep putting it off but yeah i'll probably be asking for tips in my group for that right they're on the line let's hope that i can get a bit of air to them today and they might stop smelling so bad to be fair they're not really bad it's more of a tinge but yeah fingers crossed they will smell better <laughs> so i have to show you this it's so cool um propping it on top of the box of stuff that I still need to sort out. Um, yeah, I have just been to Square with Rob. We've been and dropped off three parcels. I didn't even bother taking a parcel picture for Instagram because it's just not impressive. Um, I only tend to do the bigger ones or sometimes I do a week's worth, but yeah, three parcels, a bit boring. Um, I'm starting to put on Instagram what I'm actually listing instead. So yeah, anyway, cut a long story short. We went to Square um, to drop off three parcels and went into Heron and Co-op to get some stuff for Dexter's pat lunches and I come across this in the Co-op so what they have in the Co-op is they have a little section with a bookshelf and you can basically take what you want off it and put a donation into the pot for charity and this was there and I just thought it's got to be worth picking up so I put a donation in the pot picked it up Beverly Hills 90210 official annual 1993 just done a TikTok looking through it because it's just amazing. It is 
literally it smells brand new like that annual smell you used to get in the 90s and 80s um it's so cool look at it i'm not going to go through it all and bore you all with it but yeah this was one of my favorite programs as like a a tween shall we say early teenager um watching these guys was just like one of the highlights of my week jason priestley um um luke perry and they said Matthew Perry, he was in Friends, Julie Knott, Beverly Hills, Nana to on her, Sharon Doherty, who was later in Charmed. Um, yeah, just great. I'm so happy to pick this up. And believe it or not, it's worth around £20. So definitely worth looking out for at the right price. I absolutely love it. It looks brand new. So it hasn't been written in. It's hardly been looked at, I think. So I should be able to get 20 quid for it fingers crossed anyway i am now going to clear this table because rob has made a mess look at this how rude and i'm gonna get my light box set up which is over there and list some of this stuff i'm excited i need to get things listed although because i did a mass cell similar and didn't do my maths properly we won't go into that i'm actually paying six pence a listing at the minute so i'm only doing one thing a day and i'm i'm cross listing still but just one thing a day on eBay. So yeah, kind of made a bit of a boo-boo there, but never mind. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> so I'm now into cleaning mode. I have this marking on these shoes. I don't know if there's any more. I think that might be all. I've obviously got this issue here that to be honest, I'm just gonna list as is. Um but I'm going to try and get all this dark stuff off these. And if it works, I'll tell you what I used. Because I don't know about you, but I found a lot of shoes with this sort of scuffing on it. And I do normally leave them behind. The only reason I didn't with these is because they're the LK Bennett's. And they don't look like they've been worn much. Apart from obviously the problem with the heel. I don't even know whether that can be sorted, but... I thought I'll have a go. There are some clever people out there that bespoke shoes as well. So there could be a project if I can't get these marks off as well. There might be, need to be a project anyway with that heel. Who knows? Um, let me know in the comments if you know whether you can actually fix that. Can you take that somewhere and get a new heel on? The only thing that worries me is because it's got the paint and leather. I don't know. Anyway, let's, let's start with the matter at hand and see if I can get this off. I look like I'm doing an advert again. I swear I am not promoting these for money. I am not getting paid for this. But oh my God, I have been recommended to get elbow grease all-purpose degreaser spray because apparently it gets stains out of everything. And I'm starting to think that is the case because look, the black marks have gone. I mean, yes, there's still that there, but I think that's ingrained. But the main one... The main ones that were here have completely vanished. All I used was this manky old dishcloth and I sprayed some elbow grease onto the cloth and then I rubbed these shoes and look at it. I am actually in shock. I think this stuff is amazing. So if you find shoes with black marks on, don't pass them up, just buy a bottle of this bad boy. Wow. See, I may be being crazy here, but there aren't marks on this suede. Now, I don't know whether I can get this out with anything. I'm going to have a go. Um, I mean, worst case scenario, I'm going to lose £4.50, which is what I paid for these. I hate wasting things and I hate ruining things. But present time, these are quite badly stained. So I'm going to have a go, see if I can get them clean. And I'll show you the results either way. Right, so again, what I've done is I have put some of this onto a cloth. Not some of this onto a cloth. Some of this onto a cloth. And I have scrubbed around where the stains are. It is wet at the moment, so you can't tell whether it's come out or not. So we'll have to wait and see. I will show you the dried product. Hopefully it won't dry like this. Um, yeah, it looks okay. It looks just, just wet. Um, so I didn't have to do this side because this side is quite clean. This side had all the marks on, so I gave it a go and we'll see what happens. I mean, 
if you don't try, you don't know, do you? And what's the best thing to try on? A pair of shoes that pay you paid £4.50 for. I'm hoping they'll dry and they'll come up nice, just like the LK Bennett's have. I'm really pleased with that. Um, yeah, this stuff is amazing. Get some in your reseller kit. Right, so, live on camera. Julia's going to smell these clothes. They've been out for about six hours. Yeah, I think that's accurate. Seven hours, nearly. Um, I don't want to smell them. I hate sniffing clothes. But I need to. I need to see what they're like. If they are completely good, that's brilliant. If not, I mean, I'm going to bring them in anyway, because as you can tell by the clouds up there, I think it is going to rain. <laughs> And I've got stuff with tags here, so let's go in for a sniff. Oh my god, they don't smell. They actually do not smell anymore. It's work, people, and I haven't sprayed them, I haven't washed them. All I've done is hang them on the line. So first part of call, if you buy anything to sell from a charity shop, or even if you buy things that you want to wear yourself from a charity shop that are new with tags or otherwise and they smell hang them outside on the line for a whole day and see what happens because yeah i'm really chuffed they all smell good so that means i can list them yay right, so that's the end of the video for today i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you found some useful things in there if there is anything that you want me to cover in a future video, give me a shout, let me know in the comments and I will speak to you all soon. Take care, be kind, stay safe. Ta-ta!